Squad, Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Bobs. Where's a whole lot of great vibes going on? Big period. This video is going to be what my day consists of. Okay. If you peep the time, your girl is late. I'm late. I'm not late yet, but I'm about to be late. Look at my baby. She's so damn sexy. Come on, midnight black butterfly. I forgot your name for real, but that's what we're gonna call you tonight. And so, I'm on the highway, right? And then I realize that my flash is on. And I realize I'm looking suspicious. In the fast lane, speeding. So, I said, hold on, give me a second. I had to, I had to, turn, that, I had to turn that bitch off. And you guys, the, the video is speeded it up. So, don't come for me like, Jay, you're speeding. Yes, I'm speeding in the video is also speeding. I just figured that this part was going to be speeded up anyway. So I'm like, I might as well just match. Just match the energy. So, yeah, I'm going to work, y'all, at 3 something in the damn morning. I just probably laid down like two hours ago, no cap. And let me hit my hookah real quick. Hold on. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Get off of there. Get to the light. It's a red light. All right, so yeah, I'm almost at work. That's the thing. I'm almost there. I'm not even there yet. I'm just about there. But, whew, um, here we are. Made it. Now, this is the thing. When I get to where I'm getting to, right, I still got to park, get on that little shuttle bus that you've seen, walk all the way all the way to where i'm gotta be and the thing about it is i be passing where i'm working at so i don't like that like i gotta pass where i'm gonna be working just to come back to get to where i'm working too does that make any sense now usually i could have went down that escalator and uh clocked in but they wasn't prepared all this construction shit if you've been in charlotte airport recently they doing dumb shit so here he is here we are Gotta, gotta get in there. Security purposes don't want you to see my code. And I know some of y'all curious, like, ooh, Jay, you ain't show us. There you go, pool. I showed you. Now, I really don't got time to be trying to do, like, a uh, a tour. But I tried my best. I tried this. This is the American side of things for you guys that like to ride American Airlines. This is their side of things. But, y'all, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. So, boom. It's usually some tugs right here that I like to steal. And I be like, enemy, mighty, mo. But this bitch look real new. It look good. I had to do my little walk around to make sure nothing was blocking the tires and nothing was going to be getting ran the fuck over. Okay? Basically. Now, listen to this shit, y'all. Damn shame. You know what I mean? And I almost fucked up. I was about to go forward and I said, wait a minute, Jay. You need to go backwards. So, yeah, forward ain't up as if it will be in a regular car. Up is reverse and down is drive. So, yeah, I'm in this bitch. And this hoe is slow. But I didn't have no time. I didn't have no time to put, you know what I'm saying, put it back, get in the other one. God forbid, the other one probably wasn't even going to crank. You heard how this one crunk it up. The other probably, <laughs> y'all, the other one probably wasn't even going to crank. Look how... Look how slow I'm going. Oh my God, every minute counts right now. Let me hit my hook. So I'm just showing you around because I know how y'all know. Y'all nosy. Y'all like to see everything. Everything that's going on, y'all want to see. I work for United Airlines. And so, yeah, y'all, I'm still trying to get there. I'm still just got to make it. Uh-huh. Just, I'm just trying to make it work. I'm just trying to clock in on time. Put that bitch in neutral. Put the parking brake up. I have to run. Am I running? Jay, I hope you running. 
I gotta get to this clock, y'all. I gotta clock in. It's four o'clock. I'm supposed to clock in at four o'clock, but you know what we do? Get like a seven minute grace period. So we can clock in seven minutes before our shift, or we can clock in seven minutes after our shift, and your girl made it at four o'clock. Got to be more careful. This is the uh, operations office. It's always a mess. Nobody is ever in there when I get in there. That's how you know I'm in there too early. And who put... Okay, Pluto. AKA Drip. Anywho, I'm showing y'all that I clocked in and I signed the scanner out. So if anybody try to call me sideways, like, where the scanner at? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. I'm just giving y'all a little tour. Look at my schedule. Come on now. Come on. Come on with three hours, five days a week. Just three. I just need a little, I just need a little three. Okay, we gotta uh get to the get to these bags. I like to get to the bag room first because I like to go ahead and pick out what flights I'm gonna do. I don't like coming in and niggas telling me what I'm gonna do. I like to tell you what I'm gonna do. And I think that was my problem. My manager said that. She said, you think you could just do whatever you wanna do? That's not the first time I ever heard that. That's why I'm a boss. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm a boss getting back in this tug and i should have left this where it was at i should have just left it but you know what i had a plan somebody else gonna come to the back room with a tug and i was gonna take their tug and just swap it out they weren't even gonna know so remember I, what i said when i got a pass where i'm working at to get to the clock to then go back to where i'm working at this is what i'm doing didn't i already come this way exactly they should have a time clock right there right there so this is my station, you guys. This is how the bags come down. So if you missing something, your zipper broke, that ain't got shit to do with me. And I'm going to show you why. That don't even matter. I don't even look at that. I don't even know why I showed you that. So this is how I prepare myself. I make sure my tugs is ready for me to throw them bags in, close it up, and keep it pushing. So I make sure the end that will be facing the plane is open and the back end is closed. So I don't even know why I paused the video. But anywho, um, yeah, this is just how I read the tickets. That means that flight leaves at 6 o'clock. Uh, 746 is the flight number. And then EWR is Newark. And I can't remember the other one. 746, I think that was... Okay, I think I'm confused right now. I am just signing in to the scanner things and I try my best to, you know, block people's information. At first when I was recording this, I was like, I don't care. But then when I start editing it, I was like, I don't need nobody trying to sue me or take me to jail because that's where I'm not going back to. So yes, they tell me how many bags I'm missing for right now, but that number do not stay like that, y'all. That bitch goes up, especially for them Houston flights, them Chicago flights. Them things that start off at 21, by the time you know it, you done scanned 100 bags. 100! And then that previous screen was just telling me, like, if it's going to go in the front or the back. So here I am. Look at me. I'm, I'm a bad bitch. I really cannot stand these, these freaking tugs. You know what I mean? Like, I'm OCD. I got to be somewhat, not perfect, but I need to be, like, it need to be easy. It just, I just really need to pull up that little circle thing. You know, yeah, push that up, pull that down, or let it drop, put it the thing in the middle, let it pop, lock it, drop it, and then I just need to do my job. And here I am trying to do my job. Period. So I'm just waiting for my bags to come. Once again, I have OCD, so I like to straighten up the bag so it can be easier for other people to read their bags. You know, not everybody think like me. I'm left-handed, so I be thinking like I be thinking I'm thinking smart, but some people just think how they want to think, and sometimes it's it's just selfish. But let me hear my hookah. Oh, that's my nigga right there. That's my guy. Hey, Frank. In New York, I'm in rock, hiding in my socks, running from my up, and I shoot that up. This is when shit start getting real. Look, 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 This is when stuff start getting real. Things start getting heavy. I had no time to, you know, grab a bag, put it in there. I just had to get the bags off. I feel like work smarter and not harder. You know what I mean? Just get the bags off. Scan them all. Put them all in. And then start over. Some people, like I said, some people don't think like me. Some people like to grab a bag, scan it, put it in there, go back. But... By the time you do that, you done missed like three, four bags. And this is the, you can put your bags in here a, a few ways. 
I have OCD, so this is my way. This is the most convenient way. Because I like to think about the people that's got to take the bags off when I take it to the plane. And right now, I'm just chilling, y'all. Like, it'd be a lot of times where I'm just chilling. And I don't know what that lump in my back is. Damn! Headphones is a must. You got to jam. And my manager was giving me a hard time about that, too. You know, AirPods aren't allowed on the ramp. Girl, I'm not on the ramp. I come there briefly to drop off the bag, and my eyes ain't got nothing to do with my ears. I can see. I can see when the plane is on. I can see when the people that's telling you to stop don't go because the plane is on. I can see. My eyes ain't got nothing to do with my ears, honey. Okay? I don't know why she thought that I wasn't going to have my AirPods in. But, y'all... It don't even matter. Look at me. Look, 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 look at me. I'm going to get that bitch up there. That's what I am going to do. Ain't nothing going to be too big, too heavy for your girl, Jay. Okay? Big motherfucking period. So, what am I Now, this is what I'm talking about. You see? I ain't do this. It came like this. And it's just... I, why do y'all be overpacking y'all bags? Like, it don't even matter. I'm about to take the bags to the, uh, to the plane. This is my first drop. You got three drops. You got to do your first drop at the like an hour before the flight. And then your second drop is 30 minutes before the flight takes off. And then your last drop is 15 minutes before the flight takes off. And then even like you can, of course you can go as many times as you want to. But like I say, work smart, not hard, right? So yeah, um, once again, I work for United. I am looking for my gate. That's how I know where to go. Uh, I don't know if y'all peeped, but when I was scanning it, it was saying like A25, A23, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop that bitch off. We out of there. Hasta luego. Mm-hmm. So, going, going, going. Oh, and y'all, one thing about Frontier Flights, the tail of their of the plane is always something different, like a different type of species or animal. And at this moment, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be nice and give y'all a little tour. So, this is me trying to give y'all a tour even though i really did need to come this way because this is like where our oversized things are and y'all thought that was the feds i said oh let me put my phone down but um i am going through the terminal to go to the oversized and like yeah make it make sense right why is our oversized bags all the way over here i get it they're oversized they're big they're huge they're heavy sometimes they're wheelchairs they're whatever they're weird things like this weird I think that's something I don't know. Anywho, 6:55. It's time for your girl to clock out, and I don't wait to seven o'clock. Every minute counts. I have to go to a whole nother job, so okay, I gotta get out of there. I gotta get going. I got. I got. I gotta get out of there. I don't wait to seven o'clock. Once again, you can clock in and clock out seven minutes before your shift. Or maybe that I made my own rule with the clock out. But it's 6.56, y'all. I'll be trying to be on the shuttle by 7 o'clock. I need to be in my car by 7.05. I need to be at home by 7.20. I need to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so, yeah, sun is up. And um, walk through the ter- terminal. Mm-hmm. Security reasons. Got to get through them doors. Got to get through them doors. And here we are. And here is the shuttle. I don't know if I made it on time or if I had to wait. Either way it go, I made it. Time to go home. Time to leave. All right, so what used to be a daily routine, you know, talk to Bay early in the morning. Do we still do that to this day? No. It be random. It be really random. But this is me um, going home, leaving the employee parking lot and hitting 85, going 85, no cap. Hitting 85, going 85. And this be that morning traffic. This is when everybody is finally up trying to go to work. Get the hell out my way. And I know they be looking at me like, girl, it's too early to be going that fast. No, it's not. I need y'all to get out my way, please. Like, I really wish I had my own lane when it comes to... Anywho, yeah, we still on the phone. We still chit-chatting it up. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to get home. Trying to just get to my, my kids. Here I am, finally home, walking up these god dang gone steps. These steps are 
killing me. I'm so sick of these steps. Like, I thought I wanted to be on the top floor. No, I don't want to be on the top floor. Put me on the bottom floor. Okay, so I am... Have I arrived? Okay, I'm about to say, because what's going on? So here I am. We made it home. They got my fat man. He he be... I was proud of him. He did good. No accident, no nothing. Right. We are headed out to go use the bathroom, you guys. And here we are coming right back on in. No games played. Like he already know. Get back in the cage. Pixie, go back to your palace, wherever your palace is, cause you be on my couch when I give you a whole couch to be on. But you just think that you the boss. You think you and this motherfucker paying bills. Like Pixie's so grown, y'all. It don't make no sense. But here we are. That's a barrel bigger than mine. Okay. Like, move your head oh, back to what you do. All right. So, kind of go quick. Like, oh! Because somebody makes my face on my face. Oh. <laughs> you thinking that, uh, Chubby Chubby oh. costume? Oh. Somebody help. I got another blue one. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm vlogging today. This is a part of my vlog. Okay, Cabinet. Mm -hmm. You see you. We have to cabinet on this. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Y'all look gold and stuff. Y'all look shiny. Well, wait. Yeah. We need to go home. Okay, story time. So, when I had rented this costume, I said, sir, y'all gonna be open on Sunday? He said, yeah. We just closed early. I said, okay, cool. That's gonna be good. So, me and Lena talking, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna pick up the costume tomorrow because, girl, I'm tired today. Like, <laughs> it's 530 something. Five. Yeah. 30 ish, yeah. 40 yeah. something like yeah. that. Ooh, yeah. And I'm trying to tell Lenny, you know what I'm saying, go get some blood from there because they got all kind of blood. They got blood that run like a teardrop. They got blood that just instantly dry up. They'll like let you test it out. They'll like tell you what to put on it. To She's like, okay, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go there before me, you know what I'm saying, pick it up, blah, 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 right? I'm like, okay, Lenny, I'm going to see you on Monday. Lena says me and said, Jay, they are closed tomorrow. I said, Lena. <laughs> The man told me they open on Sunday. I said, I know it's Easter, but this is what he told me. And so I'm looking online and Google Maps said they closed at seven. Lena like, Jay, they closed at six. I said, Lena, it is 551. I said, let me let me call them. I called that man. I said, sir, what day are closed? Uh, we closed in about 10 minutes. I said, the devil is alive. <laughs> I said, sir, the man told me that y'all open on Sunday and I need this for Monday. Like, so I'm like cussing. And acting like like everything is coming to the uh, end. He's like, ma'am, how long is it gonna take you to get here? I said 20 minutes, maybe 10, 15. Y'all got there in 12. <laughs>
Cause I thought I heard him squeaking oh, sound. shit. go to the gym and I haven't been to the gym in like a week and a half I have been kind of like you know falling off just a little bit but I be having my reasoning for all that shit um two I either come home and you know chill relax make a hookah sit on my couch until the sun goes down um possibly find something to eat maybe cook do kind of like both like cook and chill at the same time or three I come home and I do school work, you guys. I am doing online school at this time. And last semester, which is like at the beginning, no, I'm not gonna say last semester, but at the beginning of this year, when I tell you guys, I was so into my school work. Like, as soon as I came home from work, it really, like, I had my time where I could, you know, Put the gym into my schedule but if i was to put the gym into my schedule then it's kind of like girl you gonna be up to like 11 o'clock at night doing homework and you see how early in the morning i get up so and then for the, those days when i didn't go to the gym and i would come home and get right into my schoolwork, i still wouldn't finish until like 10 11 o'clock at night because that damn statistics class was kicking my ass I don't even know who made that course. Who made math into words? Math is numbers, words is words. Who said that that was supposed to have went together? OMG y'all, statistics, statistics, st that damn course kicked my ass. Your girl got an A in it though, but still that shit kicked my ass. Um, This course, this time around, these courses that I'm taking at this moment, I should say, it's a little, you know, chill, more laid back. I can definitely like get ahead. Not only that, um, my due dates for my assignments are kind of like, they're reasonable. Like I got something that's due on Friday and something that's due on Sunday. So I got pretty much all week to get it done. Versus in the beginning of the year, your girl had the statistics course assignments due twice a week and then my other uh, course was due on like Sunday I think I don't know and then the fall semester of course this previous fall for the fall semester I feel like because I was getting back into the whole school thing I was very much you know occupied with my time um, I was taking like three courses at a time if I'm not mistaken and yeah, it just took up my time. So this time around, it's kind of like I said, like it's kind of like chill back, like laid back, like I ain't gonna say chill back, laid back, but the pace is more like okay versus it's like like them bitches slap boxing or something. I don't know. So yeah, I either do like one of those three things. Um, of course, when I come home, I take my babies out, and honestly, because. I'm supposed to be doing an exam. Now, I didn't email my instructor yesterday. I didn't email her today, today again. I didn't email her again when I got home because I can't access the exam. It's like locked, it's like not available. It's like not letting you start the exam. It like has a lock on it. It's saying that I can't do it. I don't know, it's due today or I should say tonight at midnight and girl, what I'm not gonna do 
distress myself about something that's not under my control. And I wanna explain what um, today was about. So my job is not like that every day. I know like y'all probably say, damn Jay, where the hell you work at? Like, is that really what first responders do, yo? Ain't no way y'all partying like that. No, today was my graduation day. Our training has officially ended. So starting tomorrow, I will be on the phones, um, still in a training environment, but I'm gonna be talking to real life people, saving real lives, for real, for real. So no more role play, no more practice, no more none of that fake, hold on, give me a moment, let me think about it. It ain't none of that no more. It's like every minute, every second, for real, for real, counts and someone is in need of help. It may not even be like an extreme emergency situation, but they need your girl J Bobs to come through on the come through. Well, I ain't gonna come through, but I'm gonna send somebody through, okay? So that's what today was about. This, today was a big celebration because we finally graduated. That is where this white pen came from. Um, and that's what that whole segment of work was about. So yeah, tomorrow, well, Monday through Friday, for now, that's what we do from Monday through Friday. We get up that early, we go to that job, we come home, we deal with them, and they quiet and they tired. Now, y'all need to wake up because y'all about to go to the park, so y'all been in this house chilling and acting like you low-key and innocent? I don't believe none of it. You can look at me like that all you want to. You are so adorable. Okay, now lay back down. You about to get hyped. Lay down. Oh, um, so yeah. We, you know, we on like a little short little time frame because I got to take care of them. And then I go right back into work. And then like I told you, don't start. Give me like two minutes. And then like I said, I do like one or three things. And then we will. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying the day in the life with your girl J Vibes. Big period. I'll see you in a few.